all right this is the black nationalist again that's coming to you this is a late night um impromptu but i want to go right ahead and just talk about the situation that is going on with our black men in particular that is being accused of the sexual assaults and how the media is portraying them as natural predators versus their counterparts who literally are predators and there is proof that justifies i'm sorry there is proof in regards to their sexual deviancy I know that there are other videos out there that is talking about the Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax. So what I want to do is to go over a little bit of the timeline. Now, the reason why I say that the Governor Ralph Northam, his blackface appeared on February the 1st. And this is according to USA Today. The reason why I say that is because there is an article from February the 2nd on US Today again that says about the governor that he was not in the picture with the black face and standing next to someone who was dressed in the KKK attire. However, he did say that he wasn't going to resign immediately because he owed it to the people of Virginia to start a discussion about race and discrimination and to listen to the pain he had caused. Now, that sounds like a guilty person to me. If you said that it wasn't you, then why would you feel the need to go around and have this discussion with individuals? Okay, that's fine. The next individual, which is General Mark Hearing, his blackface appeared in the New York Times on February the 6th, 2019. Two days, I'm sorry, not even two days later, we have a young lady, Vanessa Tyson, who came out with her first sexual assault claim against Justin. And this was according to CBC.ca News. And she said that this took place, you know, around the time. Um, I'm sorry. She basically said that this took place at some um, Democratic convention or, or something like that, that in 2004, if I am not mistaken. Yes, here it is. She alleged that she alleged she met Fairfax at the Democratic National Convention in Boston in July 2004. She said the two were kissing consensually, but the encounter quickly turned into a sexual assault. She said um, Justin forced her to perform oral sex on him, during which she said she cried and gagged. Um, Tyson, Vanessa Tyson, she said that she informed the Washington Publish that she went with Justin to his room, the place they began consensually kissing earlier, and she said that he used his power to drive her to carry out oral intercourse. Now, two days later, which was the 8th, we had a Meredith Watson who was the second accuser and of course she said that the lieutenant governor justin fairfax he sexually assaulted her during her sophomore year and at the same time she accused another uh brother i'm not going to talk about that just yet but this was back in the year 1999 all right here is my take on this. Here is my take on this. Vanessa. Vanessa, who is a California professor. Okay. She said when she spoke at the Stanford University, she said that um, she did not want to address the allegations directly. She said that when reporting sexual assault, sometimes you have to lead by example, no matter how, how hard it is. Here's my thing. Here is my thing about this. Because I'm having some issues here. Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax was elected 
of the Commonwealth of Virginia on November 7, 2017. His inauguration took place on January the 13th of 2018. Now, if Vanessa, the first lady who accused him of um, sexual assault, now if she knew about this situation, why did she wait two years to say something? This alleged sexual assault of him forcing his penis inside of her mouth, unless he had a gun, that's the only way that I can understand, unless he had a gun or probably threatened her, I, I'm not sure, but I just kind of find that to be very weird that you would be with him in a public gathering such as the Democratic National Convention and then you two were consensually kissing each other and then you said he used his power to drive her into oral intercourse. To me it sounds like that you perform oral sex on the guy that you knew from college days and then you regret it and there are women out there that have said that they felt you know, bad about having a one night stand and they want to know how they can go about feeling less guilty. And there were other group of women that were saying, well, you could just claim rape. This is what feminists are, uh, is doing to men nowadays. And it's really pathetic and it's not shocking as well. So again, why wait? Why would you wait? Until he took his office in January the 13th of 2018. It is now February the 13th, 2019. I'm trying to figure out as to why you will wait a full year about this situation. To try to come out and say, you know what? Um, you have to lead by example no matter how hard it is. To me, what it sounds like is either one or two things. You're hard up for cash. Or you're someone that just, with all these incidents that's happened with these two white individuals, a general, Mark Herring, and Governor Ralph Norham, seeing how both of them came out with black faces, and we all know the history of Virginia with their racism. We all know about that. And the timeline, February the 1st. February the 6th. February the 1st was for the governor and February the 6th was for the general. I'm just trying to figure and then on the um the 8th of February is when Meredith Watson she came out which is the second woman and on February the 1st the same day about the governor we had Vanessa come out. You see because it's obvious that Justin Fairfax was going to be the governor if Governor Ralph Norham were to step down. We know how white supremacy, how they act. It, they will protect each other. It does not matter what they do. they doing it in plain sight. They will still protect each other. Now, with Meredith, not only did she accuse Justin of sexual assault, at the Deuce campus. She also accused Corey Maggetti. I believe that's his last name. He is a basketball player. And um, for sexually assaulting her in 1999. And then she also again. She said during her sophomore year. So here's my thing with, with Meredith. Obviously you were. Uh, you saw black men on campus. Who had a co promising careers. You wanted to make sure that you got your leg up in the game, literally. Because, see, one thing that I do know about um, some women, not all on campus, when they see uh, a guy that is in a career that is guaranteed to make him money, she will lie down with him. She will lie down with him to try to get pregnant so that she can get out of her situation as far as what her student debt is concerned and basically set herself up for 18 years. This is why I say child support it is nothing but uh, uh, it's a scam. In all reality, it really is because um, you can truly take care of your child, uh, even if that means working a job or two. That, I'm just sorry, that's not an excuse in the world. If you want to sit up and say that, oh, there's an excuse, please, by all means, let me know.
But here you have Meredith who is saying that she was sexually assaulted by two gentlemen, by two black men in 1999. And then all of a sudden you want to come out and say, yes, she wanted to share her account of rape with friends in a series of email and Facebook messages. Why? If you felt that strong that he did this to you, why would you put this on social media? See, to me, it sounds like you wanted attention and you got the attention because all it took was just for one biracial Vanessa to come on out on the very same day that the governor, his um, black face, as well as someone else dressed in a KKK attire came on out, which automatically would have made Justin to be governor. But we know exactly how the state of Virginia is. The last time they had a black governor was 30 years ago or something like that. They could not have this to happen again. If you cannot see the, the parallels that is going on, then obviously you want to continue to live in denial. Now, here's the kicker. I was trying, I was looking up, um, you know, to see what did, what does Meredith does for a living? Because we see that Vanessa, she is a California professor. I could not find anything in regard for Meredith. However, what I did find was she is being represented by Nancy Erica spelled with a K Smith now here's the thing about Nancy she is a law school graduate from root from root girls R-U-T-G-E-R in 1980 she represented an ex Fox News anchor which resulted in a 20 million dollar settlement her name was Gretchen Carlson. Now, in 2012, she has been um, branded with the top, the, I'm sorry, with the Best Lawyer of the Year Award. She is recognized in Employment Law Individuals Litigation as the Best Lawyer of the Year Award. Also, there is, a, it's called Profiles.superlawyers.com. She was selected to Super Lawyers from 2005 until right now, this year, 2019. She is also known as a high profile attorney. Now, we all know that when you have a high profile attorney, an attorney who won a previous um, X Fox News anchor $20 million in a settlement. And she also, in 2012, received the Best Lawyer of the Year Award. That means money. And she's also been um, a guest speaker on CNN as well. Then you could just type in Nancy Erica with the K Smith and you will see her. You know, she's been at these different women's world speech and things to that nature. So this woman spells money. It spells money. So seeing that I cannot find anything upon Meredith as far as what she does for a living, maybe somebody does know. How can you afford this woman? See, this is why it's like you have to stop listening to the media because the media's job is to force everyone to think as one. If you take a step back and you do a... Um, a collage of every state on the news at a certain time, they will all say the same exact thing. They will say the same exact thing. This is what you call programming. This is what you call mind control. This is what you call pushing an agenda. Meredith Watson. I can't locate what she does for a living. But I'm also trying to figure out as to how a high profile attorney will want to take her case unless she is going to benefit something from that. She has to be benefiting something from that because I believe there is a YouTube video where she says that uh, Donald Trump basically opened the door for all of these sexual allegations. So why is it that she didn't go after Trump? Why is it that she did not go after Weinstein? Why is it that Nancy Erica Smith did not go after Les Moonves, who recently purchased himself a, 
uh, a Hollywood building that was done by CBS. Seriously. Can you not see the con game that is going on right now? Justin Fairfax is being hit. This is what you call an assassination that is um, hitting his character. They are going to make sure that this man's name is going to be dragged. It's going to be dragged, dragged, and dragged. And he does have sons as well. So to know that he has sons that's in school and everyone, of course, is going to pick fun of him. They're going to make fun of him. They're going to say all type of things like, oh, your father is a rapist. Things to that nature. And then when you have these fake candidates like Kamala Harris and Cory Booker, which we know that they have a piss poor track record, you know, and they all want to threaten impeachment. However, that basically was uh, was done. You know, it, it basically ended because let me see here. Delicate Patrick A. Hope. From the New York Times. It's a February 11th article. He said that he will file legislation to impeach the lieutenant if he did not resign by Monday. But on Monday, February the 11th, Mr. Hope backed off after black lawmakers demanded on a conference call of House Democrats that there not to be a rush to oust Mr. Fairfax at the moment when the state's white governor and attorney are refusing to resign after they admitted wearing the blackface in their youth. Fairfax, I'm sorry, Mr. Hope said he believed both of these women. Now, I wonder if he believed uh, the woman for the Kavanaugh case. See, white people, they will stay on cold. See, white people, they... they can easily block and ignore their sexual deviancy but the minute a black man is alleged as something oh we have to we have to assassinate we have to get strip him out of his power we have to strip him out of his power and that's exactly what took place they are doing everything to drag this man and also his finance, which I'm sure of. Which I'm very sure of that is taking place. And, you know, seeing how, because I want to go back to Meredith, because like I mentioned before about how some women, and I know not all, but when they see a guy that is headed in a good paying job, they will do everything to get pregnant by him. Now, Corey Maggetti, again, because she also accused him in the same year like she did with Fairfax of sexual assault. Um, lady, I truly doubt your story. I truly doubt both of their stories. Number one, Vanessa, really? You want to say that he, he used his power to force you to have oral sex and you gagged. First you got you said that the both of you was kissing consensually. And then he used his power. Did he use a gun? I mean what is it that he did? What, what did he do? See there's mi missing information here. There's a lot of missing information here. And then you over here want to go around and talk. I'm not buying this. I am not buying this at all. Now yes. As far as sexual assault cases, yes, we should take that seriously. But to go by word of mouth and then the details is foggy, no. But see, the thing is, it's not so much that the details is foggy. What's happening is, is how people are quick to want to throw Fairfax out. It's and he's a Democrat. And all of the Democrats, they was gaining upon him saying he needs to resign. But yet these two white men who have their black faces, and we all know the, the history of blackface in this godforsaken country, they said they're not going to step down, even though, yes, they know it was, even though they said, yes, that was us. You see how white supremacy, they do not apologize. 
they do not apologize for their wrongdoing and they will never apologize for their wrongdoing they will never do that now just to step away a little bit from Fairfax AJ Callaway AJ Callaway from 106 and Park he's also being accused of sexual harassment and extra they went on ahead and suspended him all the while saying that they are going to look into this investigation uh, to figure out you know this misconduct as to what took place all I want to know is where are these women coming from all I want to know is who who is finding them are you that destitute to try to bring down black entertainers to try to make black men to be the face of predators like I have said before this is something that the Democrats in particular has done back from the uh, um, from the 1800s this is something that they have always done it was one particular senator that that spoke about this in a book called sundown towns you can read that you can look it up basically and which he said that black men as to how they rape their white woman and to keep them away you see this has been the picture that white people have painted us and now to just that there's another book you can read as well called stamp from the beginning and how the portuguese as well as the english and um the arabic during the arabic slave trade they said that the reason why africans black africans are so hypersexual, lazy, savages, it's because they reside in a hot climate. I kid you not. But yet they're the ones that was committing rape and torture of black men and women and children. These people are very sick. So again, I really do hope that Justin Fairfax, that he could basically keep his head up but these two, I want to say, loose women with their vagina at that time, who obviously still had some feelings for them, or maybe they was in debt, maybe they're in debt and they need the money, but come on, with Justin, come on, the timelines. I mean, the timelines, everything that says, all right, we are going to set this dude up to fail. We are going to set him up. See, this is what white supremacists do. This is what we mean by white supremacy. They will watch you and help you get to where you need to be financially or some form of a career. But the minute they are ready to pull the rug from underneath you they will do that especially if they see that you are going to go against their agenda once they see that you are going to go against their agenda they are going to pull that rug from you and you're going to say what in the world just happened i thought all of you were my friends and we see that right now these people that justin felt comfortable with all of his friends are turning on him all of them every last one of them and sad to say, I'm going to say this, um, black men in particular, uh, maybe you need to invest in what Dave Chappelle said in his satire, the, the love contract. Make sure that they sign that. But again, also question that Meredith Watson. How is it that I cannot locate what she does for a living, but how is it that she can fund this Nancy Erica Smith who is known as a high prof profile lawyer she helped one of the ex fox new anchor to win a 20 million dollar settlement in another sexual assault case this woman has been featured on cnn multiple times you have to watch the money you have to watch the players Everything right now stinks. 2019 started off already horrible. 
especially for our black men. But we have these white predators. These white predators, they are able to walk scot-free. Their reputation is not damaged. People is over here looking to the left, looking to the right, not even caring. And then you have Tyrannosaurus Burt, who with her Me Too movement, over here saying, basically, her job is not to go at the white men. Her job is to go at the black men. If that does not tell you how much of an agent she is, I don't know what will. But um, I'm going to make sure that I continue to stay on top of this because it is not right. But you also have to realize that this system was never meant for us. All I can say is to our brothers out there, make sure that you are cautious as to what you do. I'm not saying that you wasn't cautious before, but now you have to be extremely cautious because any little thing can come back and hit you. Especially when you have made it to the top. Especially. You are at war. And they are using all type of women to bring you down. Again, this system never wanted black men to leave a legacy. They always wanted him to have an asterisk by his name. If they cannot put you in jail, if they cannot put you six feet under, they are going to make sure that they damage your reputation to the point that you cannot find uh, another job that is going to take care of you and your family. That is the goal. That has always been the goal of this corrupt system. To be honest with you, this system has to fall. In order for it to get better. Just to be honest with you. So that's all that I have for this evening. Hopefully I will do another video probably on Friday. When I'm not going um, to the gym. Alright. Have a good night.